Hi, I've got some push button padlocks here. I've already reviewed one where there are eight push buttons and I've got some 10 push button ones here. This eight push button one was a bit of a joke where if I give a bit of a tension on the shackle and press the lever, I don't even need to hold the lever. I just push all the buttons all the way down and up again. Number two doesn't want to go down and oh, it's open already. This, this is what I mean. I'll, um, this, this lock is such a joke. You just go through all the numbers one by one, up, down, all the way down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and uh, eventually opens. If it doesn't, you just repeat the sequence. The, I've already reviewed the eight button one and I'll put a link to that video, but I found that these 10 button ones are more difficult. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab one of them and I'm just going to put them on here for a little bit of tension. Actually, I'll put both of them on here. Okay, so I'll start with the first one. Uh, it's going to be upside down for you, but why I've done this is so that there's going to be a little bit of tension on the shackle because with this one, when I push the lever over, if I let go of the lever uh, and put in the right combination, it doesn't automatically open with these ones. Okay, so I'm going to push this lever over, uh, a little bit of weight on the shackle just to show me when it opens to make it obvious, but I'm going to keep tension on the shackle, say that, on, on this lever I mean, so that uh, when I put in the right combination, it will open. I need to keep tension on the sleeve on these locks. So I'm going to go through each number one by one, all the way down and all the way up. I know the numbers are upside down for the video. Seven doesn't want to go down at all, so I know now that seven has to be in the up position. Hmm. Eight doesn't seem to want to easily come back up. Maybe it should be in the down position. I'll come back to that because sometimes you get bad tolerances and you get that anyway. But seven is for sure. Eight is a is a is a guess that it should be down. That seven should be up. Eight should be down. Um, nine is the same thing as eight, but again, it, it's it's more of a guess. I'll come back to that. Uh, okay, so I know for sure seven, guessing on eight and nine. So what I'm going to do is push all the numbers down, and I'm going to do the same sort of thing. except I'm going to go all the way up and then all the way down. I'm going to start with the 9 and 8 because those are the ones I wasn't sure about. Oh, I, I didn't put 0 down. Oh, and 0 doesn't want to go down. Okay, so now I know for sure that 0 is in that position. 7 is in that position. And I'm guessing about 9 and 8. So, yeah, 9 really doesn't want to come up now and neither does 8 so I'm, I think I was right about 8 and 9 so I'm pretty confident about 7, 8, 9 and 0 let's pick on 6 6 it really doesn't want to come back up so I think that should be down so I'm looking for 5 down ah oh, sorry yeah yeah 5 downs and 5 up so I've already got I already know for sure 3 downs so now I just need uh, two more down. So let's look at these ones first, doing all the way up and down. It's interesting, um, four, 
for um, clicks up, I have to use a bit of pressure, but it clicks up in one um, in one click. But when I push down, it's sort of grindy. Um, so I believe um, it it wants to be in the up position. It's it's sort of lurching to the up position. It's it's a guess, but um, and same with three. And the locks open. Okay, so that's how I get into this one. I'm going to I'm going to do the other one now. I don't remember what these combinations are. It it had it on them when when I bought them. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press the lever over and hold it. And the, the weight of this heavy padlock is just going to give a bit of tension to the shackle, mainly to tell me when the lock opens. Okay, so one all the way down and up, down and up. Huh, three doesn't seem to want to come back up. I'll, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm, it doesn't seem to come back up even if I press hard, so not all the way. So I'll leave him down and four it seems to resist going down. I can push really hard. Um, if, uh, uh, I think it's a bit of a guess but I'm going to leave him up. Okay five <laughs> it won't go down all the way no matter how hard I press it so I'm sure about five I'm guessing about three and four. Okay six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I want to push um, everything down. And then I'll do I'll do the same thing. I'll go all the way up and down again. Still holding the lever. Uh, I'm going to pick on um, four and three again. Because they were guesses. Um, it's still it's still a little bit hard to tell, but it still seems to be that three should be down and four should be up, but again, still guesses. So I'm going to look at two. Um, it's sort of crunchy down and it pops up cleanly. So I'll leave him up. Maybe the same with one. Maybe same with six and seven. Hmm. This one, uh, number eight, clicks down in one swoop. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not, not sure. I'm just not sure. Let me revisit the ones and twos. Oh, hello, when I did two again, it doesn't want to come back up. So number two is definitely, definitely down. And number one does seem to want to, want to be in the up position. Uh, oh, and now number six does not want to go down. Oh, and the lock's open. So as I was homing in on the right solution, the buttons were becoming more and more obvious on the other side. Okay, so I took one of these locks apart. It's the first lock I've ever tried to dismantle. And uh, I just got a screwdriver and pried the two halves apart. So I'll try and show you uh, how this lock works the best I can. Uh, this goes on top. I've taken some of the... Uh, the, the buttons out. Now you can see here uh, some of the buttons are different. 
these notches are lower down and this one's higher up where the, the buttons sit sit upright like this so that means since this gap is nearer the top this button will need to be pressed down since this gap is down this button will need to be up so that all the gaps line up so that these teeth I'll try and show you these these teeth can get through all the gaps and lift up I'll try and do this on camera um, first of all you might be able to see here that there's that um, notch up the top so this button will have to be up so that the cap is up whereas this middle one the notch is up so it has to be pushed down and so I, I push that one down that one down it's the same I've already looked on the other side so so these two are up, these two are down, and this one's up, and that's the correct combination for these buttons that are remaining. Shackle sits in there like this, and it's locked. This little notch here is stopping it going up and down, except if these teeth can pass through all the gaps of the buttons, and then this will be able to lift up. Now these buttons when the tops on are all in line so I just need to make them uh, stand up straight and you can see this outside bit has, has lifted right up and because of that it is now unlocked that's how the lock is opened and if I put back this this lever here when you lock it again it goes down get my pointer again the bottom of this here has gone right down to this window and this is spring loaded with a couple of springs that came came out um, one spring is to is to push this back you might be able to see that this gets caught so even if you have the right combination this can't go up, these teeth can't go up past all the gaps unless this lever is pushed across and because the shackle is spring loaded the shackle will, will then pop up. One more thing I want to show you, um, I'm interested in bypass techniques but for this to be bypassed, I mean this shackle isn't going up unless this right here, unless that is going up and that is not going up unless this whole whole thing with the teeth goes up and they're not going up unless it can find gaps in the buttons so the buttons have to be in the right places so there's no direct way to bypass this and the only possible way might be to try and determine there's not a gap right up the top or there is a gap up the top because if you could fit something down and it goes in further than this one then you'll know that the gap is up the top and that this one would need to be pressed down but even this bypass method wouldn't work because there's these little notches here and not only the tolerances are pretty good on these locks these notches mean that when you use something really thin to try and slip down they're going to hit these notches and already you would need something curve to, to go down and around but these notches just make it really practically impossible they would need to be pushed on the inside then you would need to get something down there but you can see there's that little there's that little lip sticking out uh, if it wasn't there you would be able to get something maybe down and around and try and feel for a gap but I don't think we can bypass these locks but that's okay, I can get into it without too much difficulty. Thanks.